Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to learn how to create a login and a register page in Laravel. We are going to learn how to set up Laravel authentication easily by using Laravel Breeze. So in the last video, we've learned how to set up Laravel CRUD and we are going to continue from that project. All right, let's go to Laravel documentation. This is Laravel official website and then go to starter kit. Over here, you will see Laravel Breathe. Okay, we are going to use Breathe and Blade. So you can click over there, but if you scroll up, you will see installation here. Here is how to installation Laravel Breathe. Copy this command, then go back to the project. We are going to stop our server, Control C, and then paste it over here, the command, hit enter. Okay, the next command that we have to run is this one php breeze install and then we copy this one and paste this over here hit enter and it's going to tell you which stack would you like to install over here i'm going to choose blade it has react view or api but we are going to use blade hit enter and then it's going to ask you whether you want dark mode support or not just hit enter and hit enter and if you see this error the error about fail to load post CSS config or warning to load an ES modules set type to module we go to package.json to solve this uh, warning if you don't have this warning it's okay to continue the next step but if you have this warning you just go to package.json and enter down here and set type to module okay and then run the previous command again psp artisan breeze install hit enter choose blade and then hit enter enter okay there is no error right now the next command that you have to run is PHP artisan migrate. Copy it or just type it directly. Okay, the next command you have to type is npm install. This one will install uh, the scaffold package. npm install. Okay. Okay, the next command you have to do is to run npm run dev. npm run dev. This command will compile front-end asset. So you have to leave it open every time you edit the project. Okay, let's create new terminal to run PSP artisan serve. And then if you go back to this server site, localhost, uh, localhost and port 8000, you will see login and register page over here. If you click login, it will redirect you to login page. And you can go back and go to register. Let's try to register a new user. For example, I put my name, Alex Deptamin, and my email, alex at deptamin.com. This is just only sample email. Password. And then click on register. See, it's redirect you to the dashboard of the user page okay if you go here you can see the profiles page and in the profiles page you can set up your information for example your name you can change it if i don't like alex datamine i can remove it and i can save it it's changed to alex and you can even update password and you can delete an account as well so let's log out you can log out and if you want to log in you can log in and then just enter your email address alex as dave to mean enter the password is it also include remember me log in you will see log in over here and if you log out how about you forget password log in and then you forget password to make this feature work you have to set up an email server in environment files over here env you have to set up mail server over here 
to make this feature work. I'm going to talk about this later, okay? All right, the next thing that I want you to learn is to take a look at the code. For example, over here, if you go to resources and go to view, you will see that auth folder has been created. This includes all view or GUI for a login system. If you want to edit the page over here, you can over here, this page, you can edit it inside here. For example, register page over here, all right? You see register page. Let's go to register page. Uh, register over here. For example, if you want to change this logo or remove it, you can go to this page and you can go to uh, guest layout. Let's go to layout over here. Let me check. Okay, let's go to guest layout. You will see uh, the image over here. Here. Okay, for example, I'm going to comment it. And if I go back here, you will see that the logo has been removed. Here, you just play with this uh, layout and the view to edit or to change the page. For example, in register page, I want to change the background of the form over here let's see class bg red 100 i save it see it changed the color of the form okay i'm going to remove this so this is the view okay when you take a look at uh, the laravel architecture you will see everything has been separated okay this we this is view. We have talked about view of the login page. Let's take a look at the controller. For example, if you go app here, HTTP controller, and you will see auth controller has been included in our application. Okay, this is the controller that has been automatically generated by using Laravel breeze command. Okay, if you go here, it is the feature for login you can take a look at the code and this one is the controller for new password and this one is for verify email controller and we even have profiles controller which is the controller of this page let me log in okay let me log in you will see the profiles page over here, right? Here. So this page is belong to profiles controller, which is this controller. Okay. And let me close this page. Okay. In the last lesson, we've learned about CRUD operation product over here. Why it doesn't work? I think when we set up the authentication system, it's remove our product routes. So we have to include it again. Let's go to GitHub and go to uh, Deptamine GitHub. Okay, go to Deptamine GitHub and go to Laravel CRUD for beginner. And over here, resources. Sorry, route and web.php. I have included this one from the previous projects, but it's removed it from my projects because I generate a new route by using Laravel Breeze. So I'm going to include that route over here. Okay, let's save it. So right now I should have this route. It says that product controller doesn't exist. I forget to include this one. On the top of the files over here let's include it here normally we should implement authentication before we set up CRUD operation you can see that our products CRUD operation work right now for example let me create a new product over here how about I want only a user who log into the system to create this product so I have to protect this route from unauthorized user. For example, if a user doesn't log in, 
they should not be able to access to these product pages. It's so simple to protect the route from an uh, unauthorized user or a user who not logged in to the page. You just use this middleware, okay? You just go to here and you just copy this route and put it over here. Okay, let's save it. For example, if I hit enter over here, I still able to access this page. But if I go back to the home and go to dashboard and if I log out and I want to access the product page, you see, I cannot access to the product page and it will automatically redirect me to login page. Okay, let's enter my email address. Okay, and then log in you will see I'm able to access to a product page uh, for example if I put dashboard over here how about I put a link of a product page over here see the product page is this link right it's product.index let's go to dash.blade.php you will see here you log in let's create a link over here a tag h left and then let's call route and then product dot index okay and this one product page let me add class to this one class text blue 500 and let me put br over here and let's put hover when the mouse point text.blue is can be dark blue okay save it and here product page when I click here it's redirect to product page and I can edit the product so only a user who log into the system can access to product page right now Alright, this is all about this video. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.